fucking Wednesdays. Don't forget, you work for me. My health is your top concern. Oh, it is. That's why I'm ready to uh, to examine. <sighs> Do you understand me? I'm the king. Hands off, then. H hands off the merchandise. Hands off the merchandise. Employer, employee. Never forget that. <laughs> Never forget it. Welcome, everybody, to a brand new movie review where we talk about Hotel Artemis. And, l and let me hold those precious glasses for you since I'm your employee there. I don't know how anybody wears those. Those are too bright for me. <laughs> oh, and yes. Um, you know, this movie honestly kind of snuck up to us because... I don't think it got a lot of press. It didn't get a lot of press and... Also, I think that, you know, there wasn't a lot of, like, th there was a trailer that came out, but it wasn't that long ago, and it just... I, it, other than that trailer, I didn't even know this movie existed. Yeah, it was actually a surprise, and so I was like, okay, I'm I'm into this, I like the trailers. Uh, where do you, sir, want to start with Hotel Artemis? Well, let's give you the casting for this. Um, you've you got, got Jodie Foster. Who plays Nurse. Yep, you got Jeff Goldblum. He's... The king. The king. The, the, wo the, the wolf, wolf king. king. Yes, he does. The wolf <laughs> got, king. got, uh, I don't know how to say her last name. Sophia. Uh, Sophia Butella. Butella. Um, you got Zachary Quinto. Zachary from, Quinto. Uh, you you've got, got Charlie Day. Charlie Day. Uh, you've got Sterling K. Brown. Yes. And this as well. Uh, Dave Batista. Dave Batista. Yeah, Dave Batista. Uh, um, Jenny Slate. Jenny Slate is in this. Oh, a whole slew of people is in this. Other, I think it's. Yeah. I mean, the movie is mostly about all them. So. Well, the movie is basically it takes place in 2028, and there's sort of this riot that's going on. Mm -hmm. um, I guess a water you know, shortage. Water or shortage, or they people can't pay for their water, so they and cut off. Yeah, and basically, in a nutshell, like they are, you know, just they rioting riot in the streets, yeah. and. It takes place basically in this hotel that's been running for about 22 years time. Mm -hmm. And this hotel takes care of criminals. If they, criminals, um, low not, life not scumbags. Your, not your every run in a day criminal. These are the criminals that, that can afford it. The high top. The high top ones. The ones yeah. that can afford, the, afford to be a member of it. And basically if you have wounds if you're hurt you end up calling them up and basically hey i need a room mm -hmm. and they end up saying okay uh be here at a certain time mm -hmm. we'll take care of you and, and that, they have a real delicate process of how they process you when you get in i mean because, what is the process I mean, as soon as you go in you have to give up any weapons you know okay they have like a little slot where you discard yeah. all your weaponry give me the fuck and they got they got scanners so that you can't sneak one past you so yes at that. Um, you also got the, you got to have an implanted have chip. An put implanted in your arm chip there in the arm, yeah. In order to be a member and all that. I mm. mean, they could do black, uh, black uh, market kind, but they could tell the difference. They tell what the difference is, yes. And after that, if you make it through all that and go and get yourself situated in your room, she starts taking care of you. Now, what are what are the rules to this place? No killing another client. Okay, no client. Um, um, no... No cops. No cops. Basically, um, this is a criminal-only thing. No guns, of course. No no what, weapons, no violence. No violence. Um, no, no insulting the staff or no yes. real, like, you know, um... You Trying know, to attack the attack staff. Attack the staff. I mean, if you attack the staff, you'll, you'll see the consequences. You'll see the consequences, yes, you will. Dave Batista's Jody Foster's second-in-command and, like, the that, guy's literally a mountain. That guy don't take shit. His biceps are, like, bigger than this kid's head. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Yeah, you, see in the beginning, you see if you've actually got a chance to see the trailer, one guy tries to attack him, like, this guy is, like, five times your size, and you're going to attack there him? There is no fucking way that that was ever going to happen. Uh, I mean, no. Wait. Uh, let's, I, I don't think any, I mean... That, and I think there's one that was like, don't go into any other members' rooms. Members' rooms or stuff like privacy that. Privacy and all that Privacy. Stuff. There's definitely a lot of different elements to this hotel. And I really liked 
the hotel itself. I like mm. I like the inside of it. I like that they have different rooms. Okay, there's like one Niagara for Niagara Falls. Or Honolulu one, type. Honolulu, uh, Acapulco. Niagara Falls. Yeah, I mean, there's all different ones that are like themes. And whoever is in that certain room... That's Give them a code name so it protects their identity. Protects their identity. So that's what you get. And you got an interesting cast here for the oh characters. Man. You, the, the cast is interesting. And I thought all the actors overall, I thought they actually really did a good job. Mm -hmm. I hadn't seen Jodie Foster in anything in a, in a while. I don't remember the last movie I saw her in. Yeah, but man, I really liked her in this. Yeah. I thought it was really cool. And she, you can tell each character has their own past in this movie. You can tell... How some of them are connected through certain people. Yes, you could tell how certain people are connected. Okay, they they know these people, they know who they are, and they've interacted yeah. with them in the past. Others have not, and they're very brash and rude, like somebody like a Charlie Day. <laughs> who... Well, let's give you what type of character each one is. I mean, you got Jodie Fowler, she's the... She's, she's, she's the nurse, the as we nurse. said. She's basically the doctor slash surgeon slash nurse. I mean, yes. She goes by nurse, but... Uh, and you got Dave Bautista, who is a healthcare professional. I'm a healthcare you, you professional. You don't diss him on that, because he gets pissed off. He gets pissed off. I mean, basically, he's her backup and, you know, her and muscle and her... Sort of her right-hand man. Yeah, basically, yeah. the guy who takes care of the building for her. Yes, all that takes care of it, all that jazz. Um, Then you've got the... the mean guy's name was again. One of the actors you talked about. What? Um, the, the main two guys from the beginning of the film. Oh yes. Um, oh the two main guys or no the you know the main guy in the movie. Oh, uh, Sterling K. Brown. Sterling yeah. K. Brown. He's a. Uh, I guess you could say at the bank robber. That type of He's stuff. a bank robber, yes. And they're basically basically at this sort of bank, and they can't get the vault open, and yeah. they decide, you know what, we're just going to take these belongings from these other people that, that are hired by these rich folk, and they and have all deposits their... Make deposits. Make deposits, and they get all this stuff, and... Let's just say his brother does something stupid, which gets them in some trouble. Yes, they take this... Uh, pen, and it's not a normal pen by Which any I means. I thought it was a very creative way to do something in this film. It actually has diamonds in it, and very, very, very high priced diamonds, rare diamonds. And basically, these diamonds, um, basically, basically, they're they belong to the Wolf King, but you do not steal from the Wolf King. Because he will... He will get retribution. He will get retribution. Now, I will say this. Again, I think those characters are really great. People like Charlie Day, who seems like an arms dealer. And somebody like a... Um, Sophia, Sophia Botella, who's an assassin. Yep. Uh, you get these different flavors of criminals in mm. these different varieties. And I thought that was actually really cool. I really like that a lot. Mm. And I will say this, man. I also love me some Jeff Goldblum. Mm -hmm. And that, he that was more dude... tolerable in this for me than he was in Ragnarok. Not that this him is, is the character that was written for him. So, I mean, I, for the short role he had in this movie, I thought it was effective. I thought it was effective. I thought it was really cool. And, uh, again, I think all the actors work really well together. I think there's one that... I like I talked to you about. Well, what is Zachary it, Zachary Quinto's character who plays the son of the Wolf King. Now, why didn't you like him? I just felt like, oh, he's his father's like this big badass, you know, ruler of the okay. city. You know, you figured he'd be as almost as ruthless as him. But no, he's like, like as the Wolf King says, he's just so fucking soft. <laughs> I'm like, I, I, well, he almost says it to a point where he's like, oh, I can't believe this guy's my son. Well, I mean, look, at the at the end of the day, I, I mean, I don't think that's that, that that's a character trait. That's not really, you know, Zachary Quinto acting thing. I but. mean, overall, the story is pretty much, it's not, it's not a complicated story. It's pretty almost cut, cut dry and simple in some parts. It is, but I, like I said, I like the characters. I like the hotel itself, mm -hmm. and I thought... The action for what we get mm. is actually pretty, pretty I mean, good. It's not, it's not like you get um, this movie's an entire action. No, in fact, like, in fact, what you get maybe two, two three, 
two, three things of short bursts of action. Okay, yes. You don't get a lot of action here, but... It's but effective. It's effective. And what you get, especially by people like Sophia Butella, is... She can kick my ass any day. What? I If I'm going to get my ass kicked, it might as well be a hot woman like that. Fair enough. The, I mean, fair if enough. you've seen her in Atomic Blonde... Yes, Atomic why. Blonde is great, and she is great in it. And, and yeah, I mean, the action here is really great. I like the cinematography. The colors are really mm. cool. The colors of the hotel, the, the neon signs. You know, the I one, think, one of the things I liked was near what? the, near, I won't, I mean, we'll keep going, but one of the things I liked near the end yeah. was self-sacrificing of two characters. Like, oh, they know they've done wrong or they're doing to, to uh, repay somebody. They're repaying, I guess, their debt. Yeah, repaying if, if they consider that, that, or something, debt or something that they owed them. Yeah, I'm like, I really, I really like that at the end. I really like that at the end too. And I, again, like, I think this movie's a really interesting sort of like um, crime thriller movie. Mm -hmm. You were actually before this review, you were kind of comparing it to a movie like Smoke and Aces. Smoking Aces was shit compared to this. Well, yeah, but you you were saying, well, you, you know, I mean, that one is... I mean, yeah, it's got some similarities to this movie, but I think this movie is definitely the superior in every way. You think that one's the superior one? I I, I mean, I, I didn't think Smoking Aces was a horrible film, but it could have been better. Okay. I mean, Smoking Aces 2 was... Well we, well, we don't talk about Smoking Aces Pile, do we, pile we, of Dung. We, uh, I mean, no. Uh... I I mean I mean what else do what else do you want to say about about Hotel Artemis if you really um, had to sort of say anything there's more? There's really nothing. No. I mean we pretty much put it all out there already. I mean, we we're really only, did. like halfway our usual review. Yeah, but you want to know what it's 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 a it, cut and dry it, film. I will admit to you guys, this is a cut and dry film, as he said. It's it's very it's the the plot is simple. Mm. The characters are effective. The characters are effective. They're very colorful characters. They're mm. very colorful. Very brash people but they're honest in they're, they're honest I got to admit I, I think I like the dialogue between them I like mm -hmm. the dialogue and their interactions with one another especially I got I got to admit uh, you and I we did our review for Pacific Rim 2 <laughs> and um, look I wasn't in love with Charlie Day in that movie this I happen to really love him in I think so, I think this worked for him because it was such a short burst of him. It wasn't like he was in the movie the whole entire time. No, but he wasn't annoying and he wasn't really over the top. He yeah. played he played it menacing, but yet a little like out of his depth. Mm -hmm. And I I liked that. I liked, of course, I've been a fan of Sofia Butella for a while. She's been great in mm -hmm. in this. Of course, Dave Bautista, man, he's just been fucking rocking this shit, man, for a <laughs> while. And this, Drax, I mean, come on, man. It's no exception. He was awesome in this. And you know what? If you're a fan of Jodie Foster like I am, then it was really nice to see her in a different type of movie that she's never really done before. Yeah. And I was really excited to see her in it. Like I said, it's a it's a nice little movie. This is also directed by Drew Pierce, I believe. Mm -hmm. He um, has written a lot of movies. He also uh, wrote Iron Man 3 plus a, a few other things. Um, this is his directorial debut. I thought he did a really good job mm -hmm. here as well. Uh, yeah, I, I mean, mean... I could foresee... I, I don't know where they would go for a sequel, but I could see something like a prequel. I could see... If you were going to do anything, I would say... I would say for me... I would almost go in the pre-crew. I want to kind of see, mm -hmm. you know, the whole sort of the, the the hotel being constructed and the first people coming in here mm -hmm. and how they had to develop all the rules. And mm -hmm. I would have really liked to have seen all that. But it does kind of leave the door open for a sequel yeah. as well. It kind of does. I mean, she did mention there are other hotels out there like this. She did. She mentioned one in Nevada and there's mm -hmm. a few other ones and... I could foresee Jodie's, uh, Jodie Foster's character getting pulled back into the Artemis or something because, I mean, some characters, I won't say who, because you, you know, you're probably going to want to go see this. Some characters survive and they lead up to, for potential sequels. Yeah, so there is, there, if this is successful, then they could do sequels or possibilities. Um, I wouldn't mind seeing it. Like I said, it was it was a, a nice watch. I enjoyed watching the movie. Mm -hmm. um, 
What are your final thoughts and grade rating on Hotel Artemis? I mean, I think we almost covered all the main points. I mean, the action was good for what it was. The characters were good. I yeah. mean, they, me, and the only minus thing I'd have to say was the Zachary Quinto character. That could have been improved a little bit. Sure. I mean, I think almost every character did their... They did almost a superb job. I mean, this movie was kind of... I mean, it had almost everything. It had the action, it had the scenery, yeah. it had great casting. Even even the sh even the lines were like there was no line I was like disappointed in. Um, if it wasn't for the Zachary Quinto character, I probably would give this a perfect rating. Okay. But I mean, not to knock the actors, just what he had to work with. Huh. I mean, I'd have to probably give this movie probably an A. Wow. Okay. Um, you know, for me, look, I like these type of interesting movies with these criminals and sort of this sort of like, you know, nice back and forth and we're, we, we don't like each other, but we have to team up with one another and we're, we're stuck in this circumstance and all the craziness happens. Uh, like I said, man, it's, it's got the colorful characters, the, the hotel's pretty neat, um, you know, the action is decent. It's it's a nice little watch. I do easily recommend it. Um, there is some slow parts in the movie, and the action, you don't really get the action until sort of towards the end of the movie. Yeah. And sometimes you're sort of waiting for, oh, when's the action coming, when's the action coming. Um, so there's a little bit of slowness to it's it. like a slow crawl for you. Yes, but for me, though, it's still a really solid film. I would give it a solid B+. Plus. We're not is, too far off. We're not too far off, and, um, well, since I'm your employee, might as well give you your glasses back. Really nice glasses here. Don't forget, Try. I'm the king. Yeah, give you your really nice glasses here. And, um, ooh. Oh, and, uh, now you're, now you're gone. I, I heard and, uh, you what? broke a rule. Me? No. How, what? I got you on video. <laughs> Red-handed. No, come on. I'm I'm you I'm loyal to you. I'm lo just because this is your first offense. Ah, uh, got got oh 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 oh! I'm glad those Next were. Next offense. Oh. Be even worse. Instead of a hand. At that point, your shoulder will be completely destroyed. Oh jeez. Uh guys. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the review. If you did, give it a thumbs up. So I don't die. And um, we will be back next time, me and the Wolf King, for another movie review. Uh, but, oh, oh, oh. You deserved yeah. it. Uh, we'll that, see think you. of that as a pre-warning for next time. Uh, see you later, guys. <laughs>